हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट दी एल पी वन प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ टी कंप्यूटर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सिलेबस प्रैक्टिकल नेम इज राइट अ प्रोग्राम टू क्रिएट डायनेमिक लिंक लाइब्ररी फॉर एनी मैथमेटिकल ऑपरेशन एंड राइट एन एप्लीकेशन प्रोग्राम टू टेस्ट इट वी कैन टेस्ट यूजिंग द विजुअल स्टूडियो ओके सो टूडे we learn about this practical dll library using the vb visual studio okay for that purpose we required the some help file and manual so what is mean by dll dll long form is the dynamic link library okay so for the help uh, file we click on the code with steps okay here the some steps so start the microsoft video okay so we follow these steps so open the microsoft visual studio either we can write the visual studio here also so visual my studio so after the starting the microsoft visual studio go to file okay from here also we can start the new project or either you can open the project so start from the new project first in this practical firstly we create the class library after that we create the windows form application so using the class library we create the dll file and we test this dll file within the windows form application so firstly we create the class library so here the class library name 2 you can change this name also here i am the putting same so my class library name is the class library 2 then okay okay so here the public class class 1 in class these are the code window is open so now next step is the we can copy the this code this is related to the my library we create the dll file so just put the control v so what is the code public class my function then public my function add value here we create the dll file here we create the one function for the mathematical operation here we only create the addition functions so public function add my value it is the name of functions by value value one as a double here uh, data type is the double and name of variable is the value one and second variable name is the value two here we declare the variable using the dim keyword so dim is used keyword for the declare the variable so dim result as a double so result is equal to value 1 plus value 2 and return the result and the end of function and end class so this is nothing but the code for the dll file so simply save it save all and build after the build the function check the whether the file is a dll file is a created or not so go to class library to bin folder debug here dll file is a created that means we successfully created our dll file now next part is the after the creating dll file we test this dll file using the windows form application so for that purpose go to the new again project then click on windows form application here also the name of application in the windows form application you can change or we can keep as it is
after opening the form here some toolbox solution explorer and properties windows and this is the form designing okay so we designed the one for for test the dll library so for that purpose here we take the some label label 1 label 2 label 3 and button and again we take the text box for the entering the value text value 1 and this is nothing but the result we can change the name of this label like value 1 value 2 and here result okay and in the button addition okay so our form designing is completed now coding part so click on button so after the clicking button write the code i am sharing this file on my blog also so here the import the class library first line is the import class library to our class library name is a class library to so change it class library to after the private button one our button one clicks event is occur so sender value so stream button here there are two values so library to then save it save all and one more point is the write on windows application then add reference then click on browse then go to class library to then add the reference of class library dll file so using the adding the reference here no error is occur so again the same save all then build the solution and run it after the running put the value 5 value 1 5 suppose value is, uh, 2 is a 6 then click on addition so result is a 11 so in this way we will implement the, our third practical which name is the dll file using the visual studio firstly we create the dll file and test the dll file with using the windows application so thank you all of you